Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. In this video we're going to be talking about smoke detectors. Now chances are really good you already know that smoke detectors are a very very important safety device in our homes and in many cases our offices as well. The problem with smoke detectors is they can be a nuisance. What do I mean? Well when you're asleep they might chirp, they might beep, they might go off when you're cooking, they could provide a variety of nuisance conditions that you have come to this video to try to figure out how to fix. So in just a moment, we're going to explore that. And I'm going to tell you about my background so you understand why I feel like I'm an authority to talk on this topic. But before we get started, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. This way, when we come out with future tips, we'll notify you. Like the video, and we're going to begin right after this. All right, you're looking at the back of an old, dirty smoke detector. And the reason for this video is I've decided to replace mine. And I thought it would be important to do this video so that I could share with viewers what I know about smoke detectors and answer some questions that I know are out there. But before I do, I want to let you know my background. In the beginning of my career for about 20 years, I used to be in the business of professional alarm and security work. So I've had exposure to smoke detectors in many, many, many situations. And there are two general types of smoke detectors. There's one that's powered by a battery and there's one that is hardwired like this one on your screen. Regardless, they all work off the same two common technologies. One is called ionization, and the second is called photoelectric. Now, in order to understand why you might be having some trouble with your particular smoke detector, you have to have a general understanding of how the two types of technologies work. First, ionization. What ionization does is there is a small sensing chamber inside your smoke detector and an electrical charge is applied to that chamber. So as long as that electrical charge doesn't vary too much, the smoke detector will not go into an alarm type of condition. That electrical charge is usually applied within the chamber using a very tiny piece of radiated material. Now, certain things can cause the charge in that sensing chamber to change and thus cause an alarm condition. And that could be, well, of course, smoke from an actual fire. But if the smoke detector is detecting smoke from other sources, be it cigarette smoke, other smoking devices, or even when it's close to a cooking area, the warm steam from the cook cooking actually carries tiny food particles that get trapped into this sensing chamber and you could have an alarm condition. The reason that I'm switching out my smoke detectors is because they are over 10 years old. Now I'm not saying that you should be switching out yours that are 10 years old. You need to check with your particular smoke detector manufacturer specifications to see when they need to be replaced because normally, yes, ionization smoke detectors, all smoke detectors need to be replaced at some point in time or another. Now, in this particular case, I don't know if you notice it or not on your screen, but I just removed this smoke detector from the ceiling and there's quite a bit of fine black uh, powder on soot that's inside there. Now, I don't know the exact source of that material, but I do know this from experience. That black powdery dust is not only in the mounting plate that you're looking at, but it gets up inside the actual smoke detection chamber, and that is one potential source of false alarms or nuisance alarms. Now, another thing that I have experienced personally with nuisance and beeping uh, is of course from a dead battery. You want to replace your batteries regularly as much as every six months. Also, um, the temperature that 
the house was set at in the middle of the evening was down around 72 degrees, which some of you might be thinking that's very cold, and candidly it is. However, as the smoke detector got older, and this smoke detector is older than 10 years old, if this smoke detector is about 12 years old, as the smoke detector aged, it would tend to chirp for no apparent reason in the early morning hours during times in which the home was air conditioned at around 72 degrees. Now, I don't know if that is a corresponding relationship. I actually got on the phone with the manufacturer and had a conversation with the manufacturer. And the best answer that they could give me was that your smoke detectors are over 10 years old and you need to replace them. And quite frankly, if I look back over the history of the smoke detector over that 12 year period, the beeping in the middle of the morning did tend to occur more frequently as the smoke detector aged. So there are a variety of factors in play. One, you have to replace your battery backup. And in this case, even though this is a hardwired smoke detector, it does have a nine volt battery backup uh, chamber. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't have the electrically hardwired smoke detectors, changing the battery regularly with a high quality battery, not the least expensive battery that you can purchase, but a reputable high quality battery should alleviate many of the beeping conditions that you're experiencing. Make sure the smoke detector is free of dust, debris, and bugs that can get into the sensing chamber. Okay, so just a real quick uh, distinction between ionization and photoelectric. It says here on the side of the box, ionization is good at uh, detecting flaming fires, fires that uh, burn and spread more quickly, whereas photoelectric is probably better for smoldering fires like cigarettes that get caught in a couch or bedding. Now, in a moment, there's going to be a link that will pop up on your screen that's going to take you to a review and installation of this particular smoke detector. It combines the technology of photoelectric and ionization as well. Hey, we appreciate you stopping by and taking a look today. If you didn't subscribe, please hit the subscribe and thumbs up button. We hope you have a great day.